Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to AI for BAs. In this lecture, I'm going to engage with ChatGPT version 4 to help me as a business analyst initiate a new project from scratch. Now, interacting with any of these large language model AI applications can be pretty awesome. So let's lift the curtain, unwrap the magic. To set the stage, I'm called into my manager's office for a new assignment. Now, even if you have seen other videos in my AI for BAs series, you may want to pause this video to study the vision statement because it does contain some background information that I haven't shared in other videos. My manager suggests some of the major players that I should interview to get more information. Okay, product owner makes a lot of sense, as does the chief technology officer. Between the two of them, I should get a better understanding of both the business need and the technology constraints for the app. Customer service is always a great place to get customers' perspectives, since they deal with problems that our customers report. Health sales in the legal department round out the top five. This is basically my initial list of stakeholders who could be instrumental in bringing this vision to life. Obviously, once I've interviewed each of these, they're going to point me to additional stakeholders who have additional individual needs. But this is a good starting point. I decided to see if ChatGBT could suggest some initial questions to ask these folks to see if it can help me get off on the right foot. Since I like to start with the big picture, let me see what questions it thinks I should ask the product owner who's at the top of my list anyway. ChatGPT comes back with questions for the product owner that it, for some reason, has grouped into categories. Now, well, let's see. Number one, vision and target audience. Can you elaborate more on the vision behind this product? What specific problems do we want to solve for our users with the app? Who exactly is my target audience? Do I have any data on their specific dietary needs, budget constraints, or other relevant behaviors? Okay. Those all seem like reasonable questions that I think the product owner should be able to either answer or point me to someone who has the answers. That sounds promising. Number two, key features. Hmm. Essential features to align with vision statement. That's good. What would set us apart from competitors makes sense. Unique functionalities we should prioritize. That sounds a bit premature, but I don't think it would hurt to ask. Number three, competitors in market, main competitors, lessons learned from their success or failure, how we can stand out. Good questions, but I'm not sure the product owner is the right audience for those. I'll have to think about that. Maybe I should just run him by him and see whether he can answer them or point me in the right direction. Okay, I think ChatGPT has proven it can do a great job of giving me ideas on what to ask to start with. But since I just introduced you to the concept of a question file, I wonder whether it can help me with that. Now, since the format of my question file is proprietary, I'm sure ChatGPT is not familiar with it, so I'm going to just tell it what columns I want in a table and make sure it understands what data I want in each column. I'm also asking it to seed the question file with the questions it suggested that I ask the product owner. I hope I'm going to get a lovely table that I can just copy and paste into my question file spreadsheet. And voila, this is really impressive. It does a fantastic job of creating the table exactly as I requested. And it even populated it with the appropriate columns, including the correct data. I'm ecstatic. I could probably even feed it with a project schedule and have it calculate the last responsible moment column if I wanted to put in the effort. But since this is a demo, I don't really want to overdo it. Despite its text-based nature, the model managed to present information in a structured and user-friendly format. Kind of like having your own AI secretary, isn't it? It even added a lovely note at the end of the table, defending its decisions just like any self-conscious secretary might do. Cute touch. So now that I have an initial question file, let's work with it and see how ChatGPT can use it. I'm going to just ask it to add questions for the legal department. Obviously, if this were a real project, I'd go down my list of stakeholders that my manager suggested 
and ask the questions she thought I should ask for each. But that would really be overkill for this demo. And just like that, ChatGPT goes into lawyer mode, dropping insightful questions on legal implications and compliance issues. I love the first one. I love the first one because it was on my mind when my manager first described the product. What legal considerations do we need to be aware of when collecting users' dietary and personal information? That's not something that every BA might consider. Oh, this one's really good. Are there any potential legal issues with our intended partnerships with restaurants? I hadn't thought about that side of it. The last question that it suggests for the lawyers, are there any legal implications we should consider regarding the cross-border use of our app? Wow. Now that one's phenomenal as well. I am not even remotely suggesting that ChatGPT has identified all the questions or even the most important ones. I am stating my opinion that it gave me a great list of ideas to get my Metal Gears turning. Now, as the BA, I still have to think about what questions I really need to ask to make this product a uh, success. Those questions can only come from my business analysis experience in my field and in my organization. ChatGPT has just jump-started the thought process for me. In doing so, ChatGPT convinced me of its capability to cover a wide spectrum of business roles, which emphasizes its potential as a versatile and effective AI storming tool for business analysts. And there you have it, folks. A journey through a dynamic conversation with our language model, ChatGPT. From product design to legal insights, it proved to be quite well-rounded. Now, we have seen how it can recommend important questions, structure data neatly, and switch context effortlessly. That is the power of AI, my friends. And that's one aspect of your future in business analysis.